what's up youtube you guys it's your girl jolicio back again with another video i'm back y'all i'm back i'm sorry i ain't been posting in a while but your girl is back and i'm giving y'all an update on my car and as y'all can see by that title and that thumbnail, your girl is giving an update on my car. And I'm just telling y'all, like, what's been going on. Like, reasons why you shouldn't buy a cash car. I only been driving my car, y'all. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, I've been sad. Let me just start out by saying that I've been a little sad, y'all. It's kind of hot in here. I probably should roll the window down. But I've been kind of sad, I ain't gonna lie, because of my car. I've been really wanting to drive my car, and oh, it's some good things about getting a cash car because you don't have to worry about a car note. But do I kind of regret it? I'm not going to lie, I do. I do. I regret buying a cash car. Now, can I tell y'all why? Can I tell y'all why? Can I tell y'all why? Y'all, uh, why I only been driving my car for three weeks? I bought my car back in April. It is August now I, because I had to get my tag, get my insurance and everything. I only been driving the car for three weeks because it took me a minute to come up with that money because it's not really, it's not cheap. Why the fuck? I'm, I don't mean to cuss y'all. I only been driving the car for three weeks. Tell me why. One day, I picked up my grandma. She was asking me, can I take her to the beauty spa store, y'all? And it, it is kind of hot in this motherfucker. So, she was asking me, can I take her to the beauty spa store? I took her to the beauty supply store, and guess what? As soon as I picked her up, to um, and we, we drove all the way to the beauty spa store and everything, she asked me to get out the car right quick so I can look at the wig that she bought from the beauty spa store. Because she was trying to get like a... um. Them little 24 pieces or something like that. It's called some 24 piece, I think. Y'all, tell me why my car just started shaking. Like, as soon as I got like we got back in the car from 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 um buying from buying the, the wig that she wanted. She was asking me. We got back in the car to get ready to take her back to the house, y'all. My car just started shaking. It got really, it got it started shaking, it started smoking, and it just out of nowhere just started tripping out. Like, and I'm like, what is going on? Like what's going on so um that so we went over to so i seen a guy he was trying to talk to me y'all so he um he gave me a jump on my car my car got back to rolling just a little bit as soon as we got to the auto zone that was literally two minutes walking away my car just started just tripping out like it just started shaking like real bad so i seen a man and he, he was you know when you go to auto zone it'd be a lot of people fixing on cars Went seeing the man, he was fixing our cars. And first, before I had him fixing my car, I had the auto zone people check and see what was wrong with it. So, you know how they put the thing under the car to see, like, it's like a control, something, a controller or something that they look at and they tell them exactly what's wrong. My, it said my battery was good. It said my, um, it said my battery was good. It said my, I forgot the other things. It said everything was good. So, when he went and took, the freaking um starter out the car because he was like something something wrong with it so he said maybe it's the starter he took the car started out the car to test the starter and he said okay the starter is the problem so i'm thinking like okay we got it all set took the starter out the car and everything he put a new starter in boom y'all we spent money on that so then that the car just started rolling all the way until it started rolling all the way till we got to the end of the street, probably about like seven minutes away. Literally, the car just started tripping. I'm talking about in the middle of the road at a red light, y'all. Did we pay this man to put this starter in the car? Then the car just started tripping even more. So it was like it's no. So we were just in the middle of the street. I had to call the freaking um, police people to have somebody come get my car out of the middle of the street. The police was call costing too much. So I thought about it. I got insurance and my insurance, my insurance um, basically have like, um, 
you know the people that come pick it up so i pay for that so i called them and i was like i need somebody to come pick up my car and stuff like that before they came the man pulled um they just started licking in my freaking engine like licking in everything the people who i was with and they just started like the two guys first of all pushed my car out of the street onto the side and so we can get out of the street you know what i'm saying so it won't cause no wreck or nothing like that y'all so when we um they checked my check everything and i thought like maybe okay I, maybe i need an oil change what is the freaking problem y'all why the freak we, they put water in it. They said it's no, it's no, they was like, it's no water in here. Like, it's no water in the car. Then they checked the oil. They was like, it was no oil in the car. So, I don't know if they knew what they was talking about or what. But after that, they put water and they put oil in the car. The car still wasn't moving. Like, it still was tripping. So, I had to get the tow man to bring my car to my house. So, after that, um, I had a mechanic guy. The mechanic guy who I'm with now. Y'all, I just got... It's like a story time. Like, literally. I had a mechanic guy. The next time I had got paid, I had the mechanic guy come out here. He's mobile. And he came out here to come see what was wrong with my car. So, he had one of the things that you stick at the bottom of the car. And it's just like what AutoZone have. But his have, like, literally everything. Like, what's wrong with the car. For some reason, my... Whatever is wrong with my car, it wasn't popping up for some reason. Y'all, I am hot in here. I don't know why. Well, I know why because all the freaking windows are up. But, um, yeah, he was like, what he say? So he he checked the he checked it and everything, and he, for some reason my car wouldn't like nothing would really pop up. Like nothing with the engine would pop up. So I'm like, what? Like he, at that moment, he told me you got sold a lemon. Like you got sold a lemon. Y'all, I was just so freaking hurt and stressed. Like, y'all know how hard I saved up, how much I did to freaking get a car, bro. I worked so hard for this. It's like, I prayed before I, like I told y'all, I prayed before I went into the bank. My sister prayed, my, me and my grandma and my sister, we just pray like if this is the if this is my car that i'm supposed to be having god allow me to get it and let it be smooth if it's not me do not allow the money to even come off the car y'all i been so freaking worried about my car y'all anywho so i had the guy come out here and he came out here again after he did the thing because i didn't have the money to for him to do that because he charged 150 to do that already then turn around I had him come out here when I got some more money, and he was like, he found out what the problem was. When he came out here and did the thing, he was telling me, like, okay, this is the problem. So, he was like, I need a um, tune-up, and I need coils. If y'all know what that is, like, he was like, I need a tune-up and coils. So, I went and bought the stuff for the tune-up and the coils, and I paid him to do it. He came out here, did it. The car started running. Y'all, y'all won't even believe me. The car started running, like, after he did that, the car started running. I rolled around apartments and everything. Roll around my apartments. I rolled all the way to the oil change place that was literally 30 minutes away. Got on the highway and everything, y'all. I don't know what's going on. Is God stopping this? What is going on, y'all? What is going on? If you listen to me, like, it's like, shit, back to back, back to back, like, back to back, back to back. So, when I got to the oil change place, my car just started smoking real bad. Shaking and shit. Like, as soon as I stopped the car, like, I was on the highway and I was just like, it's kind of driving smooth, but it's driving funny. Like, am I tripping? I didn't see no smoke when I was driving. I didn't see nothing. Like, as soon as I stopped the car, boom, it just started, like, smoking and shaking. So, then I called the man because that was that same day called him and i was like you just got done fixing my car and then it been riding i went to the oil train place to get oil change and now my car like doing the same thing it was just doing he pulled back up on me at the freaking oil change place it's like a monkey's oil change place something like that he pulled back up on me y'all and he told me um he just started just looking into everything he like well i don't know what's going on so we about to look into all this so guess what he get to tell you I blew a head gasket. I think I told y'all in the beginning. But he was like, I blew a head gasket. And I didn't blow the head gasket. The head gasket had to be already blown because I only been driving the car for three weeks. I didn't even have no time to freaking blow up damn head gasket. So 
he was telling me like he was trying to pour the water into the car and all the water was just like disappearing then he got um he just was like something is wrong with it like something wrong or something like that so what he told me was i blew a head gasket and he gonna fix the head gasket i gotta pay him even more money he gonna fix the head gasket and he told me that he gonna put me a new water pump he he basically gotta take my whole entire motherfucking engine out y'all and i don't mean to curse my whole entire engine out and put it back in y'all i just hope and pray like, like i'm paying him how i don't put thousands of dollars into this car this is why i say that i don't think you should buy a cash car this is the only reason why because it's a it's 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 it's, it's 50 50 you're you gonna catch sometimes you'll catch sometimes you'll catch a good car but sometimes you just won't sometimes people will do anything for money and i'm sure the people who i bought this car from knew before i bought this car that it was a lot wrong with this car Anywho, the car was driving smooth, though, three weeks I was riding it. Like, I swear, y'all. So, the man, I'm waiting on the man. Now, he had to go put my, um, like, the head gasket on a machine or something like that. And he waited for them to call him back to see, like, you know, what's going on. And, like, um, to put the head gasket back in the car. To put a new head gasket back in the car. So, now that's what we're doing, y'all. I ain't been driving my car in almost, I think it's been, like, almost three months. And do y'all know... I just came off the bus, the MARTA bus, tr public transportation, and I've been ready to get off. I'm finally back driving, and in three weeks, within three weeks, I'm back on the bus, bro. It's just like, God, what did I do? Like, what did I do wrong? Like, I prayed about this thousands of times. God, we talked over and over and over and over. I prayed a whole lot specifically for what I wanted and God, you gave it to me. And this is how it happened. This is what I got to go through, y'all. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been sad. But I, the, only way, the only reason why I recommend a cash card is because you don't have to pay card note. If you're not able to pay that payment, don't do it. Y'all, I am sweating, bro. But don't do it, bro. Don't do it. But... If you're able to afford that payment every month, do it, man. Because I swear, like, if I can turn back in his time, the money that I spent on this, I would have probably just went on ahead and got me a, a car note because it, I don't spend too much money. And y'all, don't don't be like, girl, you over there sweating. Like, I'm literally sweating. I'm in the car with all the windows up. It's 80 degrees outside. Don't know why. I'm just freaking trying to make this video. But y'all, like... Thank y'all so much for the support. Thank y'all for the subscribers. Thank y'all for liking and commenting and get my videos up there, y'all. Follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is the same name as my YouTube. My TikTok going up and everything, y'all. I love y'all and I thank y'all so much for the support, y'all. And I wish you I wish you the best. You who's watching this right now, I wish you the best on the car that you're about to receive. I wish you the best on the, the decision that you're about to make. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you shouldn't get a cash car, but I do think that you should take a mechanic with you. What I didn't do was take a mechanic. I took my uncle, and all he did was check my oil, and the car was riding good. So we all thought the car was good. But thank y'all so much, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love y'all. I thank y'all, and I'm sweating. Let me hurry up and get out of this car, y'all. I love y'all. Goodbye. I've been all in my phone, I got options